Hello, good morning. Um, all right, I think this worked well, pretty well last time, so I'm gonna keep keep doing the little uh, car vlog thingy with my new camera. Um, maybe at some point I'll get a better audio situation going, but whatever. Um, we'll start here. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so today I want to talk about something that I find to be an invaluable tool in producing and writing and um, especially like mixing and mastering music and uh, it's called the car test um, and basically the gist of it is you take whatever your current mix is your current version and you go out and you get it on your phone or whatever so you can play it in your car and the reason that this is I think like the ultimate test of like uh, playability and and whether your EQs and stuff are right um, is this so when you're in the studio you have the you know the ideal setup basically so you have your like nice speakers you have them in you know hopefully like a pretty good room and um, so you're sort of you're doing this under ideal conditions and then you get out in the world and sometimes that mix even though it sounds great in the studio doesn't necessarily translate to the real world that well um, and I don't know about you guys I spend a lot of time um, when I'm driving listening to music and so I think that it's like the ultimate experience to experience music while you're driving um, but maybe that's just like the American car exceptionality in me but um, yeah I think like one of the the big things that I um, that I do when I'm recording is I make sure that I'm you know running off versions of listening to them in the car um, and you you hear things that you would not normally hear um, under, you know, studio conditions. It's sort of like, I don't, I don't wear a lot of makeup, but, um, so I've heard, you know, like, if you do your, your makeup under, like, in the mirror and you're, like, perfect lighting, um, and you're, like, really lit up really well, um, and then you go outside, sometimes, like, the colors end up being a little off, um, because, the brightness, um, even though you're under the perfect conditions while you're doing your makeup, you go out and you look a little, you know, clownish, um, you know, and I think that that it's like a good, um, analogy for non-music people if you're curious as to like why I do this. Um, and yeah, so when you get, then you get back to the studio, you, you hear these things in the car and you can go back and like tweak things. It's never, I've found that it's never like, you know, the world's biggest deal. Um, you know, it's, it's never like a huge thing you have to change. It's usually like, oh, like I can't hear this part that I could hear really well in the studio. Let's, let's turn that up. Or, um, you know, this, this becomes overwhelming in sort of a crappier speaker situation. Um, you know, like my car has, you know, like a halfway decent system. Um, but it's not great. Like it's not the, it's not like premium, uh, speakers. And, and, and I think that that's actually better. You know, if I had a better speaker system in my car, it wouldn't approximate, you know, like, how I want people to hear my music, you know? I I don't necessarily want people, you know, I don't want people who have the most expensive headphones and the most expensive speaker setups to sit perfectly still and listen to my music and, like, judge it for its production value in that way. I think that that's, like sort of a pretentious goal, you know, like, I don't know, I, I'm not looking to get, like, the pitchfork review that, that changes, uh, you know, uh, the, that changes everybody's mind, and, and, you know, I just, like, I want people to listen to my music, you know, 
while they're driving or with their friends and I, I want it to be sort of the soundtrack uh, to their life in, in that way and I think that this is it's a good way to get you set up for, for success if you want to appeal to a broad audience and not just like audiophiles um, I mean and I, I think that this is something that like if you're a different ty type of artist, then maybe this doesn't apply to you, um, and that's fine. Um, but I think that it, for a lot of people, um, this test makes a lot of sense. And I know that um, my friend Shane does this a lot. Um, he's uh, he engineers um, pretty much everything I do, and he does this with the mixes too. So I know that I have. Um, more than one critical ear doing this and it just I mean Shane's like a really talented guy so that makes me feel very um, uh, validated that this is a good this is a good system but yeah I just wanted to, to hop hop in and um, do a, a quick little video about the car test and why I think that it's something that if you're um, writing, producing, mixing, uh, mastering songs that you should be considering uh, doing. Um, because I think that it, it really does kind of step up your game and make it more, uh, more accessible to more people. And I think for, for probably, you know, 80% of uh, artists, that's what you're going for is, is broadening your audience in some way. And so, yeah, I think that that's, that's pretty much all I wanted to say, and I hope I will see you soon, and maybe I'll start doing this, ranting at the, ranting at the camera in the car. I like this, I like this setup a lot. Um, let me know what you think, if you, if you like it. Um, if you want to hear more from me, hear my music, um, uh, listen to me rant about the car test and various other things um, you can uh, subscribe to my my YouTube channel um, go follow me on uh, the social medias I, I think I'm at Murphy K music on pretty much everything so uh, look me up man hit me up dude uh, yeah, I don't think I have very much else to say other than I hope you have a good day and uh, keep up the good work. Keep doing music. Follow your dreams. Okay, bye.